Echo Box. So no, I haven't been around. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, I've stopped doing the boxes for quite a while, maybe a couple months. So I've been working with somebody. Can you tell me who? Yes, who? So I've been working with a girl named Christy, and she's um, been a medium since she was a child, a child, a little child, a little baby seed. <laughs> and um, she didn't tell me to stop using the boxes, but the boxes stopped working for me. And actually, I think there was probably a few videos before I stopped where I said I'm not getting anything. It's all just stopped. And there was a reason for that. My guides have stopped all communication through the box to me. And I'm getting a little bit more now, but not much. Has my communication gotten a little stronger again through the box? Yes. They said that they would give it back to me, but I had to work on myself. And not rely so much on the box. So, many, many things have always happened to me that were riding that, that line of psychic mediumship, including spirits who come to me. And I wasn't hearing them, or I was ignoring them, or I was waiting to get to the box so that I could get the answers instead of just tuning in and doing it myself. So I think that I've got a good handle on that, or I can now use the box in conjunction with what I'm getting. Um, we found out that there's a portal in my home. There's also what they call a waiting room, and that's my mud room. I always see spirit in my mud room. It's like all the time. And what she told me was is that those spirit come through that portal, and because it happened a couple times, they all think that that mud room is like the waiting room, and I'm constantly crossing spirit over from my home to the other side. Now, that's not to say anything can come through that portal, but I try to keep that portal nice and clean, and we try to keep it so that only good comes through. Not to say that nothing bad can come, can't come come through, but you can't really do anything about a portal other than upkeep it and try to keep it clean. There's also one here in this shop, but we already knew that the bathroom was a portal. You guys want to use something else? And it's not for you, it's more for me. Let me go to, um, let's try something else, you guys. So let's go to the Echo Box. Echo Box. I get all fucked up now. Box Box. Since I'm used to that. Okay. Fox box is on. Can you guys tell me this the the medium that I'm working with? What's her name? Hello. Hello. What's her name? From It's not Ellen. So okay. It doesn't matter. We already know her name. If you want to say it at any time, go ahead. Christy, I heard it. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so I used to live about a quarter mile down the road from where I live now. And in that home that I lived in, both myself and my sister were bothered by a spirit, but we never told each other. And we didn't know this until like maybe five years ago, that the same spirit would bug us both. So this spirit in that home would call, I've never seen him, she saw him, but I never saw him, I only heard him. And he would call my name at night all the time, and I would get up out of bed like an idiot, and I'd look for him, and I'd open the cellar door, and I'd be like, what, what? And they'd be like, DJ, 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 and I'm like, I was stupid, I guess. <laughs> Just walk around the house looking for somebody calling my name. So, the people that moved into that home probably about 10 years ago, I know them. 
And they contacted me two days ago, and they said that their son is seeing a spirit, and he scares him sometimes. So, the child calls him Mr. Big Eyes. And I never called him anything because I never saw him. And I haven't talked to my sister yet to see if she ever saw saw him, his face, his features, in detail. So what I did the other night, because I'm going to go back to that house and see if I can do something with the spirit. I tuned into the house because I know every inch of it. So I put myself into that home through meditation. And I think that pissed him off a little bit because he showed up to my house. <laughs> so I was getting up to go to bed the other night and I saw a dude standing in my living room. And I wasn't thinking that it was him because I see spirit in my house all the time. But this guy had on big glasses and it made his eyes look big. He had like big Coke bottle glasses and he was dressed in um, like 60s um, suit coat and pants. And before I could even think, put the two together, you know, Mr. Big Eyes, I knew who he was instantly. And I never saw him, but I, his energy, I, I fucking knew it. So he told me his name was Raymond and he doesn't want to leave the home. It's his house. It's there. So, I went to bed, and that next morning, I heard he's got to go, and that was from my guides. So, we got to cross him. I got a customer, so I got to go right now, but we'll get back to it. Okay, we, we couldn't stop it there. We were right in the middle of it, right? So, I'm, I'm going to edit this video, obviously. Um, I, don't, I only heard a couple things out of the box. But I want to get back to the spirit at this house that I have to go in and take care of. Guides said he had to go. So, guides, when they say that, that means he's got to cross. We got to get him out of the house. What's his name? What's that spirit's name? Raymond. I heard him twice, I think. Cool. So, does Raymond need to cross? Rather than... Yeah, I probably don't even need to go there to do it. But I want to go there just because of... It was my house growing up. But I, I could cross Raymond any at any time. I could cross him here. He was already at my house. I could cross him there. But he wasn't in the waiting room. <laughs> he was in the living room. Where's my waiting room in my home? For spirit, yes. What do we call that room? Do you want to tell me where my portal is in my home? Where is it? I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Can you tell me where the portal is in my home? Okay, so how many spirits are in the shop with me today? I heard it. Heard one, one of them, as I was asking. What spirit is with me today? So I've turned on the boxes and I just wasn't hearing anything. You know, I ask who's here. Every once in a while, I'll hear a Jasper and Lewis, they'll just let me know that they're around, but I, I'm not getting any com communication with anybody. So, we're going to try and get back on track here. Time is short for me to, uh, to get a lot of sessions and, and go through them for hours. 
you know, I've, I've got a band now, and oh. it, that takes a lot of time. Yeah. Work is really busy. The house, uh, the house that's, that's constant. So we'll, we'll try to get a few more here popping up now and then. I haven't even been able to watch anything on on YouTube. I, I don't even know who's out there anymore. So try and catch back up when I can. All right, Spirit, it's time to go. Say goodbye. Hmm. No goodbye. All right, goodbye, everybody.